Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you how to use the diagnostics menu and your Freelander Cascadia 2019. So let's check it out. The first thing you will do is to look for this menu. Alright, you see it's like a range shape in the menu, then you go down. The first thing you will see is the alerts and then you will find out diagnostics. So in the newer trucks, we have software update. This is for the dealer. So if they need to update the, the instrument cluster, they will do it around here. And the next one we have is the ABS. So everybody is familiar with this. It stands for anti-log brake system. This, if we have any code in here, it will show you one, two, three, it depends how many faults you have. So sometimes if you have codes related to the ABS, it might have problems with transmission, especially if there's automatic transmission. In manual transmission, they're gonna show just the fault code only. All right. The next one we have, and one of the important thing here is the ACM. This one stands for after treatment control module so on this one you can check anything related to the dpf system and the scr system if you have any problem related to this you might need to take care soon about it because this kind of problems can stop the engine or give you check engine light all the time so this is where you can check what is about the next one we have in here is the central gateway this one is to check the GPS system if your truck comes with it some of them doesn't come with it but I don't think this one comes with you can check if any fault like for example is not working or if the GPS is no okay, it's gonna show you in here. This is, for me, it's not important because usually we install other type of GPS on the trucks, but you never know, many companies might use it. The next one we have, and another important, is the common powertrain controller. This one is related to the pedal, to the parking brake ball region switches everything that's related to the switches inside the calf so if you have any problem related to that you might fix it soon the next one we have is the door control module for the driver if your door is having problems it might show up over there so for example if your doors doesn't lock or any window switch is not working or the heater mirrors things like that it might show a fault in there the next one is the door controller module for the passenger door okay so if you have the same problems like the first in the driver door you have to take care of that but this is really like less important things this is for the high vacuum controller for the front this one is related to the ac if there is any problem with the panel on the front it will show you in here the next one we have is the high vacuum controller for the rear or for the bunker sleeper whatever you want to call it so the same thing if you have any problem related to that it might show a fault code here but as i say those i really minor fault codes the next one is the instrument cluster unit controller this one is related to the whole dashboard itself if you have any problem with the needles or the screen is not displayed properly lights burn they're gonna show in here the fault codes the next one we have is the motor controller model so if you have any problem with the engine turbo uh, intake uh, anything related to that is going to show in here 
So you might need to take a look on this one. The next one is the steering angle angle system. This one is to this one tells you if the steering is working properly because the newer trucks they comes with it and if for example if your truck has been hit on one the front tires it might show it might show a, a fall related to that. So you might need to do alignment or might need to use a diagnostic tool so we can reset the fall in your truck this one is related to the sam controllers they're talking about lights uh, uh, cab lights everything that controls the cab and the lights on the outside is in here before it used to be sand chassis and sand cab chassis but no anymore with this one is only a single sand so if anything related to the lights is gonna show in here. So this is all I have for now. If you want me to go in depth in other in other um, in other controllers, please let me know. But the more important things you need to always take care of is the ACM, the CPZ and the MCM these three are the most important things you need to take a look if your truck is having issues over the road please let me know if you want to know something else subscribe like and share thank you for your time and see you next time